All right, good morning. This is Jabin here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about something really interesting. Uh, so I found something on Netflix a few weeks ago, actually last week. Um, so for those of you guys who actually follow the way I trade, I always tell stories through my investments. Now, I'm going to go too much into this into, into detail on this. You can actually go look at the history. You can go research how Netflix how Netflix stock price reacted the time Black Mirror was um, 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 released. Now what happens is Netflix has this thing, they, they're very good at creating hype around everything that they release. For example, right now there is something called Kaleidoscope. I'm gonna throw this, the, everything on the screen very soon and then we can actually analyze Netflix and see what's gonna happen. Stock movement and why I'm gonna buy some stock in Netflix. So basically what Kaleidoscope is, the whole idea is um, people are, let me put it like this, when Whenever, whenever something different takes place in any industry, you know, it's going to cause a lot of hype. It's going to attract investors. Now, the reason why, why I'm, I'm mentioning Black Mirror is because Black Mirror was some type of mind-bending um, series that was released on Netflix. And a lot of people um, tweeted about this Black Mirror and so forth. And it pushed Netflix stock. It doubled. The stock price, stock price has doubled um, 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 at least 100% at the time this series was released within the next year like the stock price doubled you know but now obviously if you know if you trade that's thousands of pips that you can actually catch and if you, if you trade that's a lot of money now same things happening right now netflix is changing the game with kaleidoscope check this out so yes like i said the new series can be watched in any order and, and it will affect how people view the story so kaleidoscope is changing the, is, is, is going to change the game so, so what happens is what's about is okay first of all i'm not advertising this for Netflix anyway whatsoever. How I analyze and perceive this, I hope it shows you guys how I don't mind sharing this slash advertising this for Netflix because I know by sharing this with you and other investors, if I'm correct, you know, we will all eat, we will all make money. So basically what, what, what happens is um, the high, the, it, it's set to premiere on the 1st of January 2023, which means it's going to be perfect for the new way for the new year to kick off. And it focuses on a gang of criminals as they land the biggest heist in history and will be in like eight ep episodes, each named after after color named uh, such as pink, white, yellow, and green, etc. And it can be watched in any order. But the cool thing is it can be watched in any order, but the story will still make sense. It, does it make sense to you? So it doesn't matter which episode you start with. You can flip it to Rand randomly. You will have your own unique storyline and how you perceive the story. But eventually, obviously, if you watch it in order, that's the way it will go. But this is obviously, like I said, a game changer. A lot of people will be want to will want to watch this, and it's exclusive to Netflix. So it's going to happen. A lot of people have to subscribe to Netflix, pay Netflix, and that obviously will attract new people, which will mean growth for Netflix in, in and of itself. And this is a perfect way to do it because if you think about forecast wise, this is going to be the first quarter of Netflix. So the first quarter's results for Netflix stock will look beautiful, and that will attract even more investment in the second quarter and hopefully into the third and fourth quarter as well. So let's go dive a little bit more deeper into this. Um, let's go a little bit more deeper into this. So basically how I dig for my information, I just use keywords. So if I search for Netflix invest, and I go to news you would see here uh, then uh, um, okay here we go um, okay you see this is the thing as well about um, Google like I said before Google is controlled by the opposition the market makers etc so sometimes you just have to gonna come over to your tools and you're gonna have to basically um, scroll the, basically rearrange the, the news to get the latest news, if that makes sense. So basically, look at this. So first of all, 20, this is 20 hours ago, I didn't see this yet. Morgan Stanley increased the price objectives on, 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 on shares on Netflix from $250 to, to, to $275. They're charging more for the stocks. Why are they, why are they doing that? Right? Ask yourself that question. So um, let's go a little bit deeper into what I stumbled on. It was a few days ago. Okay. 
guys, you see, um, this is what's difficult and why getting information is so difficult sometimes because I stumbled upon something, but now I'm searching for what's not here. Let me quickly share it with myself so I can actually resend it to everyone. Or show show it to you guys. Um go to Telegram. And if I okay, so here you see. Um so as you can see, Netflix Invest. Uh this was uh, I took a screenshot of this, I think, yesterday. Um so this was technically not even a week ago. And if you look at the results here, it's not showing you these results, you know, obviously for a reason. Now, look what's happening. So McDaniel Theory and company invest 239K in Netflix three days ago. Awesome. Wealth, well, Capital Wealth Alliance LLC invest 258K in Netflix. Kill Point invest 260K in Netflix. Columbia Assets uh, invest 216K in, in, in Netflix. That's already a million dollars that people have invested into Netflix. Why is that? And that's the only four companies we know of that is public or that has gone public. That's the only um up on news articles we are seeing, right? Do you guys see what is happening here? So there is really big players entering into this market um, looking for a way to profit. And think about it. It's not small money that they're actually putting down. They're putting down a lot of big packs. So if we actually go to the Netflix stock, um, stock price, um, I know some of you guys are scared of, 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 of charts like this, but I don't want you guys to be actually scared. I know these gaps and whatever the case, but these gaps mean nothing. Um, I also used to be scared of this, but remember the only reason why this gaps is because this market is only recorded um, during New York session. So Asian and London session is not recorded on here. Does that make sense? You know, so if we put this on a line chart, you would see that the whole stock price is there, like everything is there. You know, the only thing about candlesticks is candlesticks is very interesting because they can tell the story like your your dojis, your vectors, whatever the case, you know. But a line chart is your friend because they can actually show you trend and they can actually show you true support and resistance. You know, what I what I mean by this is we have to consider where market is currently trading at, you know. So if we just go a little bit back into history. Just go back a little bit more. We see that Netflix stock price has been dropping. And for those of you guys who are still aware of the market maker method, what do you guys see right over here? I see a M, level one consolidation, level two consolidation. I see a W formation. And obviously now we are in a reversal. So let's just walk through this again for those who want me to do it and who, those, who are not uh, those who are not familiar with the market maker method. So the market maker method was, was created by Steve Murrow or it became mainstream after Steve Murrow um, started teaching it. And um, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count my levels on the daily time frame so it's easier to actually just, you know, um, join the levels, if that makes sense. Um, like I always tell you guys as well, if it's not clear on the four hour, go on the one hour, not clear on the one hour, 30 minutes, you know, play on your time frames, find the um, unique zone where you actually can see what the pattern is doing, you know, so. So right over here, if we, okay, let me zoom in a little bit more. And that should be good. Now, this was 2020. No, 2021. My bad. My bad. So this was last year's high, if I'm not mistaken. It could be last year's high, if I'm not mistaken. However, it is a high we obviously have, have to look at because price hasn't been there in a very long time. And when price gets there, we obviously can see the reaction. Um, so I still put this line here so you guys know what we're looking at. So that is the peak formation high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just list that at this as the... As peak formation high. And as you guys all know, I'll always use boxes to count my levels. Now, I don't have indicators on here, um, meaning my moving averages. 
Um, I'm not gonna add them either. Yeah, I have videos on my YouTube channel. You guys can just check it out. Also, guys, those of you guys who, who, who are in my group, um, just request that I send you guys the market maker videos on um, and where, where, where I explain how the how the EMAs work. But this is purely price action using the eye. Um, so this is obviously my information over here. So I'm gonna box this up. This is our information level three. Add some text over here and just label it as level three information. All right. Um, let me make this all one color. Okay, these, here we go. Now, as you guys can see, it broke structure over here. Very nice, clean break. However, let's see what the candles say. Did we have a nice retest? Okay, we don't really have a retest over there. There, there was an imbalance. The imbalance was full. I'm not going to zoom in. Um, it's way ahead of time. I'll maybe cover that another time. Um, but it's also also a very easy way to spot this consolidation happening over here because to cut the gaps and make it, it actually makes it very easy to, to spot the levels as well. You know, some just put this back on a line chart real quick so we can. So this is going to be level one consolidation which is in most cases a very short consolidation phase. And here you also find your straightaway trade. And if you guys don't know what the straightaway trade is, now usually what happens is there's usually a neckline of the M and W, which in this example, this is the neckline of the M or W. And usually if you just draw a line all the way through, so if you look at it from a retail perspective, this is support, obviously. Now, when price breaks up below support, when price goes back to support, it becomes a resistance and you sell from there, right? Now, as you guys can see, usually, well, not usually, but in the straightaway trade, um, it's supposed to do that do that same thing because it's just testing the next line of the M and you should see a nice um, drop to the, to the downside. Now, this example, it didn't go all the way to that. However, it did go into the imbalance area like I explained. So here we have our, our, our straight away that took place. And the name says it all straight away because like I said, once it starts dropping, it drops straight away from the peak formation, how high or low towards the next um, target zone. And then if you also look at this very carefully, we actually have, if you look way deep in this, that's one, two, and then we have a third drop, right? Now, same thing's gonna happen over here. Here we're gonna have one, here we're gonna have two, three drops, and then we have this consolidation phase. Now, usually in level two, this is the longest consolidation phase, and this is also where you find patterns, slash, such as um, channels, where retail traders have more control over the market. So usually, market makers have more control in level three and level one, because that's where you find the strong moves that take place, you know. But um, in a retail market, uh, this is usually where the retail traders have control, and that's why it's so, so slow, because it's not, because we don't have the amount of buying power, such as the powers that be, if that makes sense. And this is our level two, obviously, and here we have level three. Right, so, and like this. Blue. So let me just add the text on all of this. So this is going to be level two, longest validation. Um, and also, I forgot to mention when you have your information. You also have your choppy movement. So sometimes the M will be very slow, very small. In this example, it's very nice M. Here we have a W that has kind of has three hits to the low. So it's a choppy W, you know. So this is all things, characteristics you should be familiar with. So this is level three again. W, I said choppy. Okay, 
So that is how you would initially be analyzing your NASDAQ, right? Now let's go a little bit deeper into this. Go a little bit deeper, let's go a little bit deeper. Now this is the, 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 the neckline of the W, right? And as you guys, let's just put some candles on here so we can see some wicks. Uh, as you can see, it almost spanned the neckline of the W, as I just explained you on top, but it didn't, you know. But same thing, you know, um, as you can also see in this example, the level one consolidation was a bit longer compared to this level one consolidation right over there. So I think an easier way to do this will just be to film this. So the one consultation started more or less around here. And also if you count, okay, so let me just put some perspective again once again. So over here, as you can see, you have, you have a drop, you have a drop, then you have a gap. So that's three separate drops more or less. You have a gap, you have a drop, and you have a slightly, slightly more drop. So that's also three. Um, pushes into the into the low but we'll go on the four hour just now to go a little bit into more detail over there and as you can see over here as well we have one push two push three pushes so that's really level one consolidation so in fact i'm gonna make it a little bit uh, uh smaller level one consolidation phase and put it right over there and then um i say this will be our level one consolidation right over here and then here we have a push out of the the level one consolidation so i believe we are now now in level two consolidation so we can definitely expect more upside movement on the speed so what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to draw a nice uh, big box around this um and just label it as well Okay, so let's go into the four hour and cover this in more detail. Now, I'm gonna explain some more um, reasons why I believe the stock price is gonna push up with Netflix. And um, yeah, okay, so I thought we're gonna have some more Victor candles over here, but I see it's just a clean gap and same thing over here, clean gap. So most likely this could have been um, this is Thursday coming into Friday. Okay, this is also, this is a Monday, Sunday. No, this is, yes, this is a Monday. So this is a weekly open and this is a weekly close. So it makes sense why we could have all these gaps with this so much in with so much movement um, because obviously that this trap moves according to the market maker method. So now we're just gonna focus on this purple box um, in level two because we clearly know where price is trading at. All right, and now that my chart's finally open, Sorry about that. Um, so here we have level two over here. So usually what, what I mean by the patterns in level two is if you put it back on the line chart real quick. This is where you start having these patterns per se, you know, that retail traders use, you know, trend lines per se. Uh, let me just make this line more solid. Maybe a little thicker. And let me align it perfectly. And what I didn't usually do is I just clone it because then my trend is solid and very accurate. Uh, becomes a mirror per se, you know, and put it on there. So as you guys can see, you know, if we have to implement ICT in this as well, you know, we're following the trend, you know, clearly we're in the uptrend right now. Uh, or market is moving into an uptrend. So by putting this back on candles real quick, what we then see is there is an unmitigated order block right over here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this blackish. Right, and then we have another order block 
right over here. Now, well, one thing to be mindful of with the stocks and so forth is same concept, you know, if there's gaps, they must be filled, you know, it's like imbalances in the market. So as you can see with this gap over here, you know, market came back to fill that. And if we just have to use another zone, a last zone for potential order block precisely be here. And the last one would be here. So at either one of these zones, I would want to buy some stock in Netflix. But let me explain. So now you might ask yourself, oh, but what about all the people who already invested all these big um, 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 organizations? The thing is, you don't have so much money, first of all. You don't have so much money for the drawdown, you know? And the thing is, we aim for precision, you know? Think about this as well. This is, we're in the fifth of season, season right now. People are going to spend time with their families. Uh, uh, this new, um, it was, this new season is going to release on the, it's going to be released on the 4th of January on the new year. What are you going to do in the new year? I'm going to spend time with my family. So a lot of people, so even though it will, will be released in the new year, the view time will be down because most people will, will, will be spending time with their family. And also, as you know, January, a lot of people won't be able to afford the Netflix subscriptions in the beginning of the of the new year, which means also this will, this will cause a small dip in Netflix price. And this is this is the, the fake move beginning of the year that Steve Murrow will be talking about. And if you think about this also for a second, right, it is not that far-fetched because 2023 is right over here. Right, so it's right over here. So it's just a matter of a few more for our candles. And the thing is, it's nothing for them to still consolidate up until this point. Because think about this as well. And easy because also the reason why I say these points is because this is not the point of interest for me. I would like to see price come either the zone, the zone, or the zone because it will break below the trend line, and that will obviously cause a fake move. And investors will think, or retail investors will think that, oh, okay, if price breaks below and touches this support zone over here right then we're going to expect you know a retest on the trend line over here now all of this can take place before 2023 or in january but it's going to be a process before the actual move takes place so for example if this takes place in january or in fact let me do it a little bit more different let me do it a little, a little bit more different what if price only starts? What if price does okay? Let me try and draw this instead. It's gonna look better. What if price does this? And only end of January, price comes to this point. End of January, people will have money again when they get paid. That will be the perfect zone for us to actually get into this trade. Either more or less around here. Let me just sort out the risk to reward on this thing. Uh, here we go. So entry would be around there. The target all the way up there. Right, so this is what we're initially going to be looking for. Now, however, it is risky to think it might trade all the way back into level into the level one consolidation however it is it is highly potential and also like i said the other zone we would like to get into the trade will be somewhere around here but just by keeping the psychology in mind and the thing is the buying power which is actually going to come from you know, it's going to come from people when they actually get their subscriptions up again next year so this will be very very interesting with netflix so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it makes sense what i just explained um, this is not a signal for you to sell. It will be a very bad thing for you to do if you sell right now, because if because it's a gap over here, so it's easy for them to go fill that gap and then drop. So don't don't risk your money. The price come to you. Very very important. And see you guys in the next video.